Morning. Good morning. Tell me your favorite color. Blue. Everyone says, are you Katie Hogan? I am. Are you part of this? I am indeed. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? I'm Tony Griff. Tony Griff? Yeah. Are you a neighborhood guy? Yeah. Yeah. South neighborhood. I saw you earlier and I mistook you for at least two people I know. How can that be? Well, you know everybody. Yeah, we look alike. Tell me a little bit about the wall. Paint the wall. <sighs> sure feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, perfect day for it. Yeah, it's a pretty magical uh, neighborhood festival unique to Rogers Park, as is this kind of access to the beach unique to Rogers Park. So it's very entwined with that. So it's always a celebration of that. What so is the theme this year? This year is uh, open, free, and clear. And what does that mean? It's a, it's a quote from... Uh, I'm pretty steeped in this shit at this point, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm listening in. <laughs> Open, free, and clear is an oft-repeated, a quoted phrase about the lakefront, because the rest of it is that the lakefront shall forever remain, open, free, and clear. And contrary to most people's belief, Daniel Burnham did not utter it the first time. It was scrawled on a map edge by three engineers who were doing mapping out the Illinois and Michigan Canal in, like, 1838. And, uh, and some 20 years later, he put it in the Chicago plan. No, more than that, 50 years later, actually. Burnham did. Yeah, Burnham did. But uh, really, uh, it's also because Rogers Park is um, uniquely accessible. Street end beaches, very unique. Um, and that's due basically to 50 years ago, a bunch of ladies woke up and saw bulldozers poised to dig this place up. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, what happened instead was that hundreds of bags of sand got sent to the mayor's office. And uh, little by little, they basically got the city to portion by portion finally claim this for you and I. And uh, it's a reminder that we will probably have to do that again and again. Yes. And given what George Bush just did to our butts in the last week, I reckon we're going to have to do it a lot more than we've had to. Thanks, Katie. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Are you painting on this square? Is this your square? No, actually. 17 and 18. I'm if somebody there. doesn't soon, they're going to lose it. You can oh, no, wait a second. This isn't painted up? No. Minimalism. Mm. <laughs> This guy, was, this guy was painting uh, this dog for like eight hours yesterday. November. We don't he, have a there's something he shouldn't have smoked before. Maybe, maybe. Well, you know, it's very dense and black. <laughs> <laughs> he worked on it very hard, I guess. Uh, <laughs>